Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I pray you guys are doing good. I'm looking here at my Bible. I'm going to go ahead and start this video off so it does not be too long. Hallelujah. Matthew 23, if you want to go to the scripture. Amen. God, you're welcome in this place. We love you, Lord God. We need you, God. We bless your holy name, God. There's no one like you, God. There's no one that can do what you do in the name of Jesus, God. Help me to get out, Lord God, what you want me to say in the name of Jesus, God. For such a time as this in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that they have ears to hear, God. That what you want to speak to the church in this hour, God. I bless your holy name, Holy Spirit. You're welcome in this place. Hide me behind the cross. Get all your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Forgive us for our sins, our prayers, and our hinder. Matter of fact, I'm going to start here. This is um, God calling. When I first started out on my walk, I used to read this like every day. And I did it probably for a year, maybe a couple of years. First five years on and off, I, I did this. And then I got away from it. But I heard God telling me to read this this morning. So February 29th, this is your leap year. Glory be to God. So draw near. How little man knows and senses my need. My need of love and companionship. I come to draw man unto me. And sweet it is to feel hearts drawing near in love, not for help as much as for tender comradeship. Comradeship. Many know the need of man, few know the need of Christ. And that's the thing that God was speaking to me about, because God has been speaking to me for two or three days about Matthew 23. And it's um, maybe longer than that. But um, Matthew 23, Jesus condemns the religious leaders. That's the um, title in my book. And so... Before I read this, let me say this because I don't want to forget. God has put a mandate in this hour for us to go out and get his children. Who I've been grieved for the past week or so, even in intercession, just crying out for the children of God. Not in and of myself, but God is doing it. And so I know I'm not the only one that he's placing it on the children of God to pray for the other children of God because time is running short. God is coming. Jesus is coming soon. And so we have to go out and do this work and go get the people. Hallelujah. And so God is saying that before we bring them in, there's work that needs to be done. There's a preparation. He said that revival starts with us. Amen. Revival starts with you. So before revival can take place outside of us, revival has to first begin inside of us. Come on, somebody catch that. Revival starts with you. Revi say it. Revival starts with me. Come on, say it. Revival starts with me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so he's saying that in order. No, let me say this right. I'm bringing in the people. I'm bringing in my children. Let me say that right. But I'm not going to bring them in. To the wrong thing things some things need to be corrected and i don't know who all he's saying this for but i know that i'm going to be obedient to god because my job is to bring the agenda of god on earth everybody has their job and they mandate that god and their assignment that god is calling them to do and we need to be aware of that in this hour Seek the Lord on what your assignment and your mandate is. And sometimes it takes time for God to reveal it to you because he's going to probably take you through a process. Sometimes he may tell you right then and there, but sometimes he may just say, wait on me as I process you. And as I'm processing you, I'm going to reveal the thing to you. Amen. So my job right now and all of our job really is heaven's agenda. Let his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So. We want to bring the people in, not to just know anything. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be, we need to be decent and in order. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to make it clear as I can, y'all. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. We going out here and we picking up the harvest. If we're going out here and 
drawing people in by the anointing, how dare we draw them in and bring them in to destruction? How dare we draw them in and bring them in to ruins? How dare we draw them in and bring them into a half-baked cake? How dare we do that? So God is getting us prepared. Jesus condemns the religious leaders, but woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against man for ye neither go in yourselves neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in woe unto you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for ye devour widows houses and for pretense make long prayer therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation woe unto you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for you compass sea and land to make one proselyte and when he is made you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whatsoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Debtor, Ye fools and blind. For whether it is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever swear by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind. Whether it is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, swear by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, swear by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven, swear by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. God is saying, if you make a promise and you swear, it don't matter where you do it, what hand you're lifting up, what you're saying it to, or how you're saying it to, it's a promise. So they sitting up here making all these rules, hallelujah, making all these rules, uh, as though they God, and then they sitting up here changing the, the 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 purpose of why he even created the commandments and the rules for their own pretenses and purposes. God said, no, don't do that. Don't change my intent of my word. Don't change it. That's not what I created it for. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides which strain of gnats and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and access. No blind Pharisee cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisee, hypocrites, for you are like unto witted sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead man's bones, and of all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto man, but within ye are full of hypocr hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets and, and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, if we had if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourself that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Filled up then the measure of your fathers. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send you unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and cru crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, and that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth. From the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of the Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar, verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. Whew. I think uh, Jesus said enough. That's his word. This is in red. This is Jesus' words. This is what he said. And I pray that we have an ear to hear, that we cleanse our hearts and not just look good on the outside, y'all. And I think this is food for thought for every one of us to make sure that we are 
doing his will and not our own will. When we're in this walk and we're in this journey, we can get caught up. Because we're running, 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 running. And not taking the time to really meditate and ensure first things first. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be in solitude with the Lord. Be alone with him to hear him. To deal with even the ugly things that we don't want to deal with about ourselves. Then to be around a room full of people. And have all types of things on my heart. So many people are about face that they are missing out on being in God's face. And that's dangerous. And a lot of people don't talk about this, y'all, but we we got to make sure that we are getting along with God. I'm a mother. First and foremost, I'm a child of God. Let me put this in order. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. Amen. I'm a minister of the gospel. Along with other things. And I know the cares of life can come in and cause you not to deal with the most important thing. And so if we don't get in God's face and we don't get in his presence, then we're blind. Leading the blind. And we can speak the word and we can talk about God and we can know the word. But just because we know the word don't mean that we're in his rhema word. We want to be speaking what God is saying. Heaven's agenda. That's the name of my YouTube page at this time. Heaven's agenda. I change it as God um, gives me new mandates and new seasons. So right now it's heaven's agenda. And so for God to give you that, he is saying that we have to keep our eyes focused on him. And y'all, when I tell you I got my eyes like a flint, I don't care what nobody got to say. I don't care what nobody think about it. Thoughts come in like that. As soon as they come in, they got to be filtered right on out. It got to go in the name of Jesus because I got my eyes on Jesus like a flint. Huh, he been too good to me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you. I'm sorry this video was a little bit long, but um, I pray that it blessed you in the name of Jesus. May we repent. May we uh, come out of hypocrisy. May we come out of being a Pharisee and a Sadducee. In the mighty name of Jesus, the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is here. It is near. And so we repent in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We ask you to forgive us, Lord God. Thank you for bringing it to our, our, our awareness. Thank you, Lord God, for showing us, God, the things that we need to work on, God, so that we can be prepared for the people of God when they come, God, to do your will, to do your work. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen.